measures of capacity liter and milliliter have you ever noticed the amount of any liquid written on a container let's see apple juice 250 ml oil 500 ml eye drop 50 ml water bottle 1 liter the amount of liquid such as water milk oil etc that a container can hold is called its capacity the standard unit for measuring capacity are liters written as l and milliliters written as ml 1000 ml is equal to 1 liter and 1 milliliter is equal to 1 upon 1000 liter for example if a container can hold 250 ml liquid its capacity is 250 ml similarly 2 liter 50 ml There are some standard containers marked with standard units to measure the capacity of liquids. For example, these containers are generally used for measuring milk. These containers are generally used for measuring petrol and oil. And as we know, these containers are generally used for measuring chemicals and medicines smaller capacities are measured in milliliters and the larger ones in liters now here is an activity for you can you match the objects to their correct estimated capacity in column 1 we have given some containers a A spoonful of medicine. B. A small tetra pack of chocolate milk. C. Water in a pool. D. Jug of water. And E. Petrol in a tanker. Now in column two, here are the estimated capacities: forty thousand liter, five ml, one liter, three thousand five hundred liter. And 250 ml. Now your time starts now. Now let us see the correct solution or the correct magic. A spoonful of medicine is approximately 5 ml. A small tetra pack of chocolate milk can contain 250 ml of chocolate milk. and water in a pool there is a lot of water in a pool so 40000 liter and a jug of water can hold approximately 1 liter of water and petrol in a tanker a tanker can hold approximately 3500 liters of petrol conversion of metric units of capacity now let's see how to convert liters into milliliters and milliliters into liters and milliliters let's take some examples example 1 convert 9 liters into milliliters let's solve it we know that 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliter So nine liter is equal to nine multiplied by one thousand milliliter. So nine liter is equal to nine thousand milliliter. Let's take one more example. Convert twenty two liters, three hundred forty seven milliliters into milliliters. Let's see the solution. Twenty two liter plus Three hundred forty-seven milliliter. So first, we'll convert twenty-two liters into milliliters by multiplying it by one thousand. Then we'll add three hundred forty-seven milliliter to it. Twenty-two multiplied by one thousand 
is equal to 22,000 milliliter. Now add 347 milliliter. And by adding both the milliliters, we'll get the answer 22,347 milliliter. Now let's see how to convert milliliters into liter. Milliliter means a smaller unit and liter means a bigger unit. Now to convert a smaller unit to a bigger unit, we'll use division. Let's take an example. Convert 4000 milliliter into liters and milliliters. Now to get the solution, 4000 is divided by 1000. So on dividing 4000 by 1000, we get the quotient 4. So 4000 milliliter is equal to 4 liters. Let's see one more example. Convert 72,580 milliliters into liters and milliliters. Now, to get the solution, we have to divide 72,580 milliliters by 1000. So, on dividing 72,580 by 1000, we get 72 as a quotient and 580 as remainder so 72580 milliliter is equal to 72 liter and 580 milliliters